Hello, and welcome to another episode. I'm Zalmont, and this is my YouTube where I play Ark and talk about random stuff. Uh, today's episode, we are talking about random stuff. On today's topic, um, being a gamer, and that's kind of a broad topic, really, if you really want to get into it. it's, it's It really does tend to be a, a fairly broad topic. Um... Because what what is and for me, I've always been a gamer and like a full all around gamer. I'm big into the when Magic the Gathering was still new. I was big into MTG. Um, as a poor kid, because back when you don't see it so much these days, but back when MTG started, it was common for you to play for anti. Which what well, anti was was ev both. Any anyone playing, and usually it was one-on-one -on -one games. Um, getting into group games, playing for anti, just didn't work. People would team up if a rare card come up, and it, it just didn't work. Um, but usually one-on-one, -on -one, you'd play one-on-one, -on -one and each person would take a, would pick a random card from their deck, and that card is up for whoever wins. Whoever wins walks away with the cards. And so as a poor kid, I actually won my, most of my collection. I was huge into it. Um, but then, you know, I also got into tabletop gaming, your Dungeons & Dragons. I didn't get to play much of it. I do enjoy it. I would love to play more of it, but it's really hard for me to get a group regularly kind of deal. Um... So, uh, and, the, you know, video games were always a thing that was a thing that my, that really my dad kind of integrated into me and my, my siblings, me and my brother and my half-sisters specifically. And she get, kind of gave up gaming, I think, for the most part, in, into her adulthood, but we all, as teenagers and kids, were, were, were gamers. Um... My, bro my brother and I continued on, although now we're the old gamer. Which, what's the old gamer? The old gamer is you go to work, you get done your day at work, and you go home, and you're so happy that, yay, you can finally get time to play the game, and you throw the game on, and before you know it, you're snoozing. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, uh... Yeah, always been a gamer, and so like I kind of wanted to talk about like well, what is a gamer? At least well, you know what's what's gamer to me, right? Like, what does that mean? And especially because like I I was always more your competitive or hardcore gamer. Um, and what what that meant for like these days I'm kind of more casual. Uh, but what it used to mean for me was like I played video games daily. I actually put in, and and this would be unbelievable to people to people who aren't there. But I used to put in probably eight hours of gameplay a day. Every day. Every day. And on my days off, I'd put even more in. Right? But that was, was I had, I didn't have any real response, like, real responsibilities other than just support myself. I didn't have no kids. I didn't have, so it was just I had to pay rent, feed myself, and clothe myself. And clothing... You know, it doesn't take much. You know, you, you get your stuff for Christmas, and that kind of keeps you through. <laughs> As an adult, where you're not, like, outgrowing stuff and whatnot. Well, you know, like I say, if, if you're not concerned about fashion, if that's not your thing, well, yeah. You, only you need a handful of shirts and pants and last year for years. Wow. I don't know. Like I say, I, I, I get replacements on my Christmas, and it kind of works out. <laughs> But yeah, you know, it, it didn't take much. So yeah, I was putting in that that hard, and people don't understand. It's like, well, that's because you're looking at it different. You don't look at an athlete and go, well, geez, you're spending eight hours playing a game. Yeah, no, exactly. It's it's that same drive, but into something different, and. Depending on the games that a person is is into, they are actually good. They help with cognitive ability. They help with eye-hand coordination. They they help with decision making, reading. Uh, you know, like it. it they, they legitimately, especially like when you, if you're at that uh, more competitive level. Um, which, when I was a teenager and a young adult, I was at that competitive level. Like, um, 
when uh, for the original Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, I've had those on my Xbox. And I was a, I was a top five player. Like, and what I mean by top is I never placed lower than top five, or, or I never, yeah, I never placed lower than top five. I was always in top five. Uh, There's a couple people that I played with regularly that I never actually knew in real life, but they, they too, like we, we'd always be in top five, like. And that's how I became friends with them. And and it was I don't I didn't become friends with them so that I could co-op with them. Okay, it's not oh well you're awesome. I don't want to have to play against you, so come on. No, you're awesome, so I want to play against you. I I, I you don't when you're at that competitive level, the only way you get better in anything is if you keep yourself at that edge. So if you want to get better in the in that gaming sphere in in your competitive games, you got to go against the best. You got to keep putting yourself against the best. Otherwise, you're going to get rusty and you're going to get lazy and yeah. And it's it's the same when in your actual sports, you got you got to push yourself, push yourself. And it's it really is. It's like a lot of people don't non gamers have a trouble seeing that, but for a gamer, it's literally that same drive that you have in an athlete. Um, and and and, and then, you know, the same thing. You know, like, uh, doing guilds is, is you are a manager. You are you are a team captain. Um, I remember playing uh, World of Warcraft and running my own guilds, and yeah, like it was. You put a lot into it, uh, and, and like literally at that point in time, I was I was quite literally putting full time job hours into playing the game. And at least three quarters of that was not even for personal benefit. <laughs> like, I'm not even playing the game in a way that I'm enjoying. What I'm doing is I'm doing work so that I can provide for other players so that we can all play together, you know, kind of thing. And, yeah. Um, but these days, being a gamer has totally blown up. Um, pretty well everyone's a gamer to some extent um, but that's most people are casual gamers they, they, they they'll pick up a controller and they'll play and they know how to play video game but they're not on it daily they're not um, or if they are it's just for a couple hours uh, then you have your competitive people there's there is a huge competitive scene uh, it's striking how uh, how big the competitive scene is uh, I haven't looked at numbers recently. They might have dropped down. But last I seen numbers, League of Legends was actually bringing in higher numbers than all but your top three sports worldwide. Like baseball, NFL, and uh, soccer were still bringing in more people. But that was it. Every They, they had more numbers than, than everything else, right? Um, like I say, I haven't looked at the numbers recently. So the might, numbers might have dropped. But the fact is, is esports, whether people who are not gamers realize it or not, actually has come full on onto the scene. Um, it is at that same level. Uh, elite, you know, you then you have your elitists. Your elitists, elitists, you tend to see most often in MMOs. Uh, and the reason I say that is because MMOs, you're most likely to get the cross between casual, hard, highly casual players and highly hardcore players. <coughs> Elitists refuse to deal with casual players. Uh, and, and they'll have a whole bunch of standards that they put in place to avoid that that all that, that, that sets them apart as elitist so, you know they're not just a hardcore player they're not just somebody who's putting eight hours a day in like I used to there's somebody who's they're putting that eight hours in a day plus they're requiring that if you're playing with them you must put in that same time you know like you you must have this gear you must have you know you you must be able to put out this much damage. 
That's elitist. Um, console wars. There is no console war these days. There really isn't. People play on what they, whatever they play on. Um, and there really is no console war. Uh, PC is the master race. PC is, is the best. But PC costs the most. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. You can build a cheap PC, but that, that cheap PC is not really competing with your next-gen consoles. What's competing with the next-gen consoles is the $3,000 computer. Not the, not it's not the six hundred dollar, you know what I mean? The six hundred dollar computer, yeah, is it, not competing with your consoles. So there's something to be made about that. Um, though I think I am going to be going PC. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Cause like the next gen consoles are starting to get to that point where they're not next gen anymore, which means that you can get second hand for cheap. So I might pick one up cheap in the next year versus getting in while I work towards building my computer because yeah I still got to pay off credit cards and that sort of deal before I can really spend any mo any serious money um but yeah I uh I think that's I think that's it uh I think that we'll call that it for uh today's episode uh being a gamer. I don't know. Hopefully I shed some light. Uh, being, a ga being a gamer is whatever you want it to be. There's Everybody's a gamer of some kind. Well, I guess not everybody. But most people these days are a gamer. 25% 20, of seniors identify as being a gamer these days. <laughs> I will definitely be one of them. But yeah, yeah. If you find your, if you think of yourself as a gamer, leave a, and you enjoyed today's episode, leave a like, subscribe for more content, comment, let me know your thoughts, and uh, feel free to share, share, share. Till next time, thanks for watching.